Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokhend Singh and today we are going to discuss about grep g r e p grep which means general regular expression parser parser so before starting this video i would like to request you guys to please like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos fine so uh, what does grep do is if you are working with any file for example etc password is a file uh, let us cat it first of all concatenate, concatenate etc and password is the file which you are working for with and you want to find out for example there are only couple of lines if you want to check number of lines you can use cat hyphen n so this will print number of line as well so what if you want to grab all the line you want to find out all the lines that where any specific word is mentioned here for example i want to find out that how many lines are there which are beginning with root so how can I find? First of all, I'll have to write a command grab, which means general regular expression parser. So I'll have to write uh, grab. Then after I'll have to give the particular word which I want to find. Then after I will specify file name. So it will give me an expression that with all the lines wherever root is written. So it will give me that particular stuff. Fine what next if i want to have only those lines which are beginning with so i can go with caret symbol and it will print only those lines so uh, this caret symbol mentions here that all the lines which are beginning with root see there are two type of uh, five lines first of all where root is included or where root is at beginning also so if you begin if you try to find out with caret symbol so it will print only those lines which are beginning with root or uh, if you want to find out all the files where root is available so you can run without this caret symbol fine okay so if we try to find out that number of lines after this so there is a particular option which is uh, hyphen b before before and a for after so if i want to find out five lines after this particular word it means first of all root this particular beginning word will be find out and after that five lines of this if i want that all the lines wherever this is written this particular word is written so this is particular uh, escape it means uh, the particular line which uh, does not contain root and uh, these are not after and before of this line so these are concatenated here these are uh, truncated fine so this is how you can work with your this particular stuff for example if i want at least two lines before this particular syntax okay 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 hyphen b2 i was trying to write like this so before two lines before because obviously here is nothing because root is the particular very first line of this file so there is nothing but yes you can check here before matching, matching pattern two lines and after five lines so this is how you can work with your grab command moreover if you want to have a look of your grab command the, like what others uh, other stuff it can perform for example i want to find out g r e p grab i want to find out word which is p a s s w d and i want to find out within slash etc so it will say that this is a directory so for searching in a directory of multiple files you have to use option hyphen r r for recursive then if you want to find out case insensitive it means whether password is written in such a fashion that whether this is p e a then after s s w d and maybe w is in capital so this is the combination of word you have so if you want to find out so it will print all the all the files with that the particular word which is contains like log underscore pass wd is true so this is particular file which is written in this if you want to find out etc services so k pass wd is the particular line uh, word which is written in this file in the same manner you can find out all the files along with syntax but what if you want to find out on a name of file so you can list uh, you can mention l here so it will print number of files only name of files only it will print it will not print the context uh, the particular text of file which is written in file so this is how you can work with your grab 
for finding in recursive manner okay what if you want to find your logs you want to pass your logs so let us try to have a look on slash uh, where log and message file so there are multiple uh, entries are available here so what if i want to find so the, you can work with pipe as well grep command works with pipe so all the output which is coming using cat command you can work with grep and you can mention AUG. So all the lines which contains AUG that can uh, that can find out for you. If you want not only AUG you want you want something else as well that only the files which contains this particular word or uh, maybe this particular stuff you want to check that this particular word must contain this particular time too so you can mention like this so this is there is nothing because i'll have to mention one star here that after this matching there is nothing to find reason being because i have to give the exact matching pattern for this because i have not mentioned this particular stuff so this is why this gives me an error so you can mention here that when you are trying to find out this stuff so it will print the particular line where this particular exact matching entry is available for you like the particular ip address which is source selected and this is ground d service working here you can parse your session okay maybe that if i want to check that all the logs which are created by ec2 users so i can look here for ec2 ec2 hyphen user i can check so all the entries which are related to EC2, these can be printed. Maybe if I want that one uh, two line before, two line after, it should print. So capital B and two I can print here. So wherever entries are available, so two, so two line before and two line after are printed for this particular section. So this is how you can mention your graph. Okay. So if you want that the particular word which is beginning with this particular stuff you want to check so you can work with maybe uh, slash etc and password file once again we can open so if you want that the word should not be matching you want to print all the words okay let's take example once more grab and root for example i want to check so i have printed all the lines where this word is matching grab then particular matching word after that file name what if you want that the matching word should not be available here so you can type in minus v or you can call it hyphen v so it will exclude all the words which is it will exclude all the lines where root is available so hyphen v means it will exclude all the stuff whatever you want you can check but that particular word will not be find here reason being because hyphen v means excluding okay so if you want to find multiple words so how you can find that so grab hyphen e e4 you can give multiple extensions here you can give multiple words here maybe i want to find out root hyphen e once again i have to give and uh, you can write here maybe ftp because obviously there is a word ftp as well uh, that was written somewhere here no doubt that would come so yes here it is so ftp i want to find out and where it is in password is the file so you can find both the lines or you can call it like all the lines wherever ftp and root are mentioned so hyphen e is a particular switch or you can call it like option where you can supply multiple expressions within your search result okay in the same manner if you want that okay let's take one example if there is a file where root is written in, in maybe in caps or maybe in small so you can give one option hyphen i here and that will search for case insensitive so this is how your grab command works and you can start using your grab command in such a fashion and you can start utilizing it and uh, maybe there are a couple of more options you can use head here and you can use tail you can use uh, less more so whatever you want you can use it and maybe you want to work with uh, awk command using with this so you can run any sort of command after grab so grab will definitely find out that uh, all the data whatever you you are trying to pass so you can pass your data using grab and after that you can perform rest of actions using your maybe cut said awk or multiple commands
सो दिस इज इट फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग हैव अ गुड टाइम हैप्पी लर्निंग फ्रॉम सर वर्गन थैंक यू वेरी मच इफ यू हैट नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल सो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल हैव अ गुड टाइम हैप्पी लर्निंग